guys, welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the channel. First of all, I'd like to thank SRT Mush for uh, this uh, editing job he gave me. Just a little shout out on his channel. If you haven't seen the video, please check it out. So basically he has a 1100 wheel horsepower Demon and he's taken it to the track and everything and recently he got into an accident. No mechanical problems except for... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So, you know, I felt really bad, and uh, but uh, you know, he's taking it like a champ. And a lot of people, you know, came over to my channel, sub subscribed to me, so I'm really thankful for that. And I just wanted to fill you guys in on what I'm doing now, what project I'm working on. So, this obviously is the Hellcat, um, it's putting down around 740, 750 wheel horsepower. I still haven't checked that yet, so that'll be an interesting thing to do uh, later on. We uh, actually measured it on a mainline dyno, which is very similar to a Mustang dyno, where the rollers are weighted, so the horsepower figures are a lot less than you get on the dyno jet, for example. So I still want to get to a dyno jet, just, you know, have more higher numbers and all that, but uh, that's something I want to do in a, pre in, a, in a future video. So right now, um, a, a while ago, I was thinking that I wanted to get into drifting. I wanted to get into drifting for a very long time. Um, I didn't want to do it with this car because I just spent so much money, so much time. I mean, I, you know, just waiting for the wheels. It took a long time. It was a, a little issue with that. Um, you know, ordering everything from the states, paying for shipping. Um, nothing gets here on time, and it's really hard to get any sort of sponsors because you know we're not in the states. Uh, we're in the Middle East. We're in Bahrain, a small little island, 1.5 million population, and so. Um, yeah, I wanted to build a drift car and the idea was just to make something, you know, within a certain budget, not too expensive, uh, just have fun with it. And Salaka SMS Design and Performance, who is a good friend of mine who built the, well, who built Snowcat, who built my Hellcat, um, has been pushing me for a while uh, to check out all these death cards that Hoonigan are doing and, uh, and other people and stuff. So uh, I wasn't really into it at the beginning because... You know, it wasn't for me. I mean, I'm not able to drive that kind of thing on the road here anyways because of the driving laws and all that. But now that we've kind of, you know, we came up with this idea that why don't we take a 350Z, which has never been done, has never been converted into a death card, and then on top of that, turn it into a drift car. So we're getting an angle, angle kit, you know, uh, we're getting suspension mods, all that good stuff obviously putting in a roll cage so he said you know what screw it let's go and this whole project is is so much fun because we haven't really sketched it out or you know thought about what are we gonna do it's like just day by day we just come up with okay we should just remove this we should just cut that um how about we put another pipe here that will secure this area um and you know also give it such a cool kind of look to it so that's what we're doing now we're building this drift death cart i'm on the way there uh, I've got to show you guys what the boys have done on Thursday because I wasn't there on Thursday uh, Didn't have the time like I'm just moving to a new house things are crazy. We're going on vacation gonna meet my parents back in Europe It's you know a lot of things are going on now And it's really hard to put out these videos But I want to do my best because first of all if I don't put out these videos There's gonna be a gap and and you know I want people to just kind of see the whole process and at the end of the whole series I'm gonna make uh, one video with just footage maybe a little bit of talking maybe a little funny b-roll stuff just to you know just to have like this whole cumbersome kind of conclusion so that's what I wanted to do like a halfway kind of information you know just give you guys the lowdown of what we're doing um, if you want to go into specifics you can go check out the videos themselves they're all in a playlist starting from episode one on YouTube um, because I've separated kind of I started earlier on IGTV so if you want to follow me on Instagram you can go watch that just right now but the the whole thing about IGTV like at the beginning I was recording vertically and it doesn't just it doesn't look good on YouTube so I, I just you know skip that part uh, the first episode was just you know meeting the previous owner buying the car um, and then we in the second episode we go and uh, you know check out the car make sure everything is okay then we take it apart take out the doors and everything go for a drive that was really fun um, and then after that you know once we disconnected the intercooler once we disconnected you know the power steering cooling and all that you know all the oils coming out like all this you know intercooling stuff so 
we're not touching the engine until we finish. Good news is though that it did start the other day, so um, we started for a little while without the belt. It works, so all the computers, all the wiring, and everything works, and you know we're really happy about that. So I understand, you know, like not everyone has the time to go through every single video and so on. So just that was just a quick update, so you guys know you're on the same page now. Let's do it.